Hello, welcome back to this series of principles for delivering uh, problem-based learning. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, we're actually in a hotel lobby. You can hear the gentle music in the background. That's because we're in Crete, uh, where we've just had a team meeting with the project partners on the Enginite program, uh, funded by the EU Erasmus Plus uh, Fund, um, which is uh, the group for which we are developing these problem-based learning uh, principles. So we thought, uh, as to strike while the iron was hot, we would come down to the hotel and record this series of films for you. So that's the context. Let's crack on with principle number two, which is to be flexible with your learning outcomes. Soren, can you say a little bit more about that? I'll say something about that. Uh, in traditional learning, the teacher is supposed to know where he wants to sort of push the students uh, knowledge-wise. Yeah. Uh, in problem-based learning, uh, basically the process, the learning process is run by the students and students are different and they have good reasons to be different because they have different education backgrounds, different interests in life and so on. And this flexibility is an uh, important principle so as to serve as many student interests as possible, but still in a guided manner so that you can actually reach a goal. I mean, it's not something about everybody having his own little mm -hmm. uh, sort of, uh, fixed idea or something. Um, so, and, and, and that means that you have to be very, uh, and we return to that much later, uh, a lot later, um, you have to be very sort of a lot of attention to the students' interests, particular interests. In our Indianite projects, some may be engineers' uh, mechanical background, electricity, chemical, whatnot, and these people may, due to their different education backgrounds, have different interests or different knowledge bases they want to further develop, and also as persons, they have different ideas about where do I want to move in my career uh, life. So, and, and all this calls for flexibility from the teacher so that the teacher is not sort of setting too narrow a frame, but actually setting loose the students to follow their own path of interest. Okay, so there you have it. Principle number two, be flexible in your learning outcomes. Stay tuned for principle number three.